An audit of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services Adult Protective Services Division shows the department has some areas to improve upon. Our Fox 17's Julie Dunmire has more. For months, I've been working to bring you a story about elder abuse from one man in Allegan County. The state, however, releasing a new audit just this month of February that shows more than 25% of adult protective services reports that come in with a criminal complaint never get referred to law enforcement. This is, it is heartbreaking. It is. Elder abuse taking center stage in small town West Michigan. William Fitzhugh dying by homicide. All right, Mr. Fitzhugh, this is a felony file. His grandchildren from Pullman, Corey Neathery and Christopher Fitzhugh, both arraigned this week, charged with felony murder, vulnerable adult abuse, and embezzlement of their grandfather. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker on why these cases hurt so much. Everybody's probably got grandmas, grandpas. It's a situation no one wants to see a loved one in, but attorneys with Levine and Levine say should be prepared for. Yeah, I think it's something that people don't like to think about. Um, you know, everyone wants to think that they're going to be just fine. Brandau says it's something everyone should think about. Estate plan really gives you the control in that situation. So even when you do end up being incapacitated, you've already decided who is in charge of your affairs and who handles your money and who makes decisions for you. When you look at the statistics, elder abuse crimes are one of the most underreported crimes. The audit showing needed improvements for communication between adult protective services and law enforcement. Becker says in Kent County, they already have a group doing this type of work, saying more agencies there to help is better. The justice system that way can reach more victims in need of help. Maybe it's Senior Meals on Wheels that recognizes and Maybe that elder has a, a bond with that person who delivers their meals. You know, maybe that person can talk to them much more than as soon as they see a police officer, they're going to put up their, you know, I don't want to talk. William Fitzhugh, a victim who did not want to talk to police or adult protective services, an all too familiar situation. In a, a elder abuse situation, 95% of the time, it's a loved one. It's a son, it's a daughter, it's a niece, it's a nephew, it's a granddaughter, or whoever, but it's somebody that uh, adult loves and they don't want to see that person get into trouble. Box 17 spoke with William before he died yeah. December 2021. What you done to me, they need jail time. Jail time for both of them. All right. That starts now. It's an incredibly detailed report that's going to be linked with this story on our website. Among other concerns identified, lack of training for certain areas of adult protective services. The MDHHS, who oversees adult protective services, saying, meanwhile, that ambiguous laws are to blame. The Office of the Auditor General disagreeing with that. Reporting in the newsroom, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.